you know that there is a divine emanation and an essence of the creator himself that is built forth within you, that you are that divine art. They call it a cleave, but it's a vessel. And we end up actually having all the keys necessary to be able to create that eternal salvation, the blessing of Christ Jesus, why it is. His love, his adoration, and very perseverance that lead forth into eternal salvation and creation itself. Oh my God, my God. Elohai, Elohai. Allah may survive there. But my God, not how hast thou forsaken me, but how hast thou blessed me to build forth creation, perseverance, for it is a godly love and divine salvation and salutation brought forth from the heavens and given forth into existence through the word of God. When we open up our heart, when we open up the word of God, we have the better foundation necessary to build that structure. God is the foundation of divinity itself. Yes, it's shocking now, but to have that, how can I pray for love for you, for Ahava, for fidelity? Why it is, Imanu, that hesed, why it is loving kindness, grace, and perseverance that we all must so far in this world to build that divine creation and to receive the instruction of heaven. You know, that's the whole meaning of Torah. It is instruction. The meaning to receive, you've probably heard of Kabbalah. You've probably heard of the Torah, you might have even heard of the Tanya. But I know you've heard of the Word of God. When we open up that Word of God, that's the very key right there. That's really all we need. We sow that Word, and it brings forth an abundant harvest. We end up receiving the foundation of the fidelity of Christ Jesus, set within the Word of God. Why, it is set, and we are able to have God's divinity, to have His divine plan to work through us, to prosper to give us every portion of the spirit of heaven. It is peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, fidelity, goodness, and love. And that faith builds forth into the brotherly and godly love that brings devotion and godliness. That perseverance opens up the doors to immortality. We live forever with Christ. That's the blessing I want to give you. And it's simple. It's really so simple. Believe that Jesus is the Lord. Call the name of Jesus. Salvation. Every day, make that affirmation in Christ. Smile down on you and he will see that divine light, that love. And he will open up those doors, that gate. And that's yours. That's an eternal blessing for you to have for all time. Because of faithfulness and your fidelity in Christ. God bless. God bless America.